Hi guys, David Aaron Dick here and I just wanted to share with you how you can make your very own custom thumbnail for your very own YouTube videos. Now what it is, is on YouTube, basically, if you just upload a video such as like what I've got here, you won't really get that many views because if you do a custom thumbnail, it sort of grabs the attention of other people that actually wants to click on it and watch it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we do this process. The best way that I've found out that I do this is I go into my video manager and then I'll find the video that I want to do so that would be this one here so I'll click on to edit and then where it says custom thumbnail we click on this because literally it gives you a set of three options and it's like parts of the video but obviously I'm not too happy with these like layouts so what we're going to do is we're going to make one so the best way that I decide that I'm going to do it is I go into Windows Live Movie Maker and then I drag in the actual video what it was that I uploaded and after this loads up and it looks like it has I'm going to scan through it and find the best part of the video that I like so I think the part where Alan's just about to go down the road on the bike itself and it's pretty good so I'm just going to make a little snapshot of that so now that I've made a snapshot I'm just going to call it Alan that'll do and it's going to save the file as a PNG file but don't worry about that because we're going to edit it in a minute So. I'm going to save that, it'll go straight to the desktop. Click no on this. Right, now we're going to open up Photoshop. Now, here's the little picture that I've already saved. Now, after Photoshop actually loads up, just give it a second. It will tell you when you can actually put the clip on. There you go. Right, now obviously because of the age of the video and because I was using like my mobile phone at the time, it won't be that like clear but obviously like if you're using a high definition camera you can actually get a better pit picture but obviously like this is only for a demonstration purpose so I'm just gonna put a little bit of text in there saying Alan on his mini moto so if we move it over a bit and then reselect it just resize it a little bit click back on the text icon so highlight all the text resize it so I think about 24 should be pretty good right now what I'm going to do is I'm not too happy with the way that it looks it looks too standard so I'm just going to click over here on this tab here double click now I'm going to give it a few options to sort of brighten the effect a bit better so I'm going to go through the options right now I'm just going to select a few little ones to make it look a bit cool that looks pretty good so I'm going to keep that and then we're going to put another little bit of text in here right and we're going to move it over again into place and then I'm going to bring it to life so obviously in the new text bit double click and we're going to make this look pretty cool so it looks sort of like a 3D effect now so click OK. I'm quite happy with that. I think that sticks out a lot better than what I had before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save As. And then we're going to change this to JPEG. And then leave that as Alan JPEG. That will be fine. But you, obviously you can rename it wherever you want. It's going to save directly to the desktop. So once we click Save, it will say 12 and you want it on maximum. Okay. So obviously like literally all we do is click OK. Come out of this now. This is our new one I believe. So if we double click it will open up, that's pretty cool, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So what we do now is we go onto our YouTube, click on custom thumbnail, and then search exactly where you saved your picture, so I know exactly which one it is, so I'm going to click on open. And now it will select that image, I'm going to go save changes. Your changes are now being saved, all changes are saved. So apparently now, if we go back and we find the video, it should have the writing on it and it should attract more people to watching a video so here it is, it's got the writing on it, I can see it from here so that's, that's pretty good, I'm quite happy with that now what I need to do now is just do a few more for the rest of my videos and every video will be done but I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos coming soon don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share thanks for watching guys